Good afternoon all, uh, this is Dingy with uh, another report in for my um, pontoon boat build to houseboat um, project on a trailer. Uh, so woke up early from night shift about 10.30 today to an email saying that uh, my third pontoon um, pod sections have arrived in Rockingham so jumped in the car and shot down got those and just unloaded them now so that's what you can see there three of them um, 650 mils uh, 333 litre volume vessels basically with a keel on the bottom and some uh, fixing points on the top uh, 50 mils by the length of the unit uh, inspection hatches uh, compliance um, indestructible uh, and one number two number three there and the fourth one the nose cone which i've just jammed in underneath here for the time being um, i won't get a chance to uh, start fitting this today uh, it'll be the job i do on my days off uh, coming in the next two days um, so you can see the framework that i've put in place and uh, how how this is going to fit into the wooden sections that I've got set out here and bolted through here um, through these prefabbed holes the inspection port um, we've got an anchor or a uh, maybe a uh, anchor a, a winch um, retractable anchor point here um, I think I'd probably use it more for the anchor um, I'll fix the winch more to the solid structure of the boat uh, so interesting days um, I've got my steering cables and uh, control cables up the front these are the nav lights and uh, some speakers and some spotlights wires for both sides I put the steering console right up the front um, it's uh, it's way up the front it's um, 200 mils back from the end of the boat uh, it's 500 mils and the driver's seat will be sitting 200 mils behind that um, and then through to this fourth rail here where the where the cabin actually starts there uh, I've also put in a loading platform it sits in off the railing that I've set up here so this is uh, an extendable one it just slides out um, and then with the, the removable pin here, you can extend this part out as well. It goes out to uh, four meters, which is pretty good. Um, and then it just tucks away back in there and it will have a locking mechanism there so it doesn't slide out when you're traveling. Um, so that's, that's good. That's how we're gonna get off the boat. So we'll be nosing into the bank when we're using it. Um, so I've wired up the motor uh, to the console and all the other wiring is all set now. You can see that on the other side there, running the length down, all in conjute. Um, and then the, uh, the motor battery work is uh, down here. So I started putting the flooring back in. This is just sitting here at the moment. It's not bolted down yet, but I just had to relocate uh, where the wires were gonna come through. Uh, for the motor and the electronics and the same at the front the front deck is not in yet neither um, it's just sitting up there it's all marine grade ply ready to be bolted back in um, which will be happening in the next four days so that's the aim for these days off get the pontoon tune in and get the floor back on and then uh, we'll be working on the layout of the cab from there and then ordering our product for the cab okay it's a short video today um i need to get some food into me get a bit more rest and go back to work night shift okay thanks for uh for joining us i'll see you next time for another update dinghy over and out